Hi guys, I hope you are all well. Long time no sit down video and not in this house. So if you watched my moving vlog, then you'll know that I moved house. Um, I now live with my boyfriend Kim, um, still in southwest London, but not where I was living before. Um, I am planning, sorry the cat jingling, can you not? I am planning on eventually doing like a actual tour of this flat because it's pretty nice like we've got it to where we want it pretty much um obviously it's rented but we've kind of got where we want to be with it so i will show you eventually but today is going to be a h&m haul because i thought i would place a massive order for autumn because to be honest i haven't bought anything in a long time the last haul i did i can't even remember what it was but i think most of that was gifting so i haven't actually spent money on things for a long time i just there's not been anything i loved i bought two reformation dresses which were a bit spendy but they were for upcoming weddings so they were kind of okay but yeah i haven't really bought anything lately that has been like i've like needed it so yeah when i was looking at h&m and i saw that there was a lot of stuff that i liked i thought i'm going to order it all and i hope a lot of it's good <laughs> my intention wasn't to get rid of it all but yeah we will see i haven't obviously opened the box so let me know what you think, it may be a complete disaster. It was ordered at about two o'clock in the morning, one night. So yeah, I'm gonna open it and show you what I got and then pop some crown clips and you can tell me what you think. Does anyone else hate these like strap things? Like they're kind of necessary, I get it, but I still want to get off and my cat loves them. Okay, it is literally packed full to the brim. So I think what I'm gonna do is put it next to me and kind of just work my way through them. Okay, so I do remember now, I did buy a few bits of knitwear, which is something I, year on year, don't seem to need because I seem to have so much knitwear. But I thought, I, I really didn't refresh it last year, so maybe this year it wasn't the year to add some new pieces. First thing I got is this. I think I might love this. It's got a really chunky ribbed neck, which I love. Not quite a turtleneck and not not. And then, yeah, like sort of big arms. It's quite cropped, which is the only thing. I picked this up in a medium, but I can kind of see this being the sort of thing that I chuck on every single day. And as you can tell, I like a bit of beige. So yeah, that looks like it could be a winner. They don't have the prices on, um, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to remember, but I have a feeling. Yeah, I have no idea what these correlate to, but I think all the jumpers were $24.99. I say, oh, I think there's two in here. But yeah, $24.99, it feels soft. It doesn't feel great quality, but I think it is their conscious range, which is recycled polyester and pre-consumer waste. So um, yeah, that's quite nice. Another jumper, they must have packed these last. This one is more of a turtleneck with um, same sort of oversized arms and then a big oversized body with ribbing around the bottom. This one is definitely full length. Off, I don't love it as much. I think it does look like a H&M jumper, but I don't know, I kind of think maybe I'm gonna put this one on and because it's nice and chunky and oversized, maybe I'm gonna love it. But I do need to go through my wardrobe and see what I've got and what I've not got. I'm pretty certain last year and between sort of like the spring, summer when I kind of got rid of a lot, I did clear out most of my beige knitwear. So I kept a few favorites, but I did get this one in a small because it said it was oversized to start with. So that's that one. So this is a complete wild card and I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but I had a linen blazer from weekday. If I can find a picture of me wearing it, I'll try and insert it on here. But basically in the move, I seem to have lost it. Now I got rid of about 10 bin bags of clothes when I moved and there's a high chance that it got thrown in one of those bags, but we don't know where it's gone. Either that or it's been vacuum packed with my winter coats, which are buried in the back of a storage cupboard. So I've been on the hunt for a new linen blazer for a wedding that we have next week. And basically I saw this in the men's sale and it is just what I wanted, just a really like, basic linen blazer or it's a linen blend this one I believe however it's men's fine but it is a 44 um large no long no I don't know what does L mean men not that any men will watch this but anyway it's a 44 which I know is big because I think Kim wears either a 38 or a 40 chest so it is huge even for a man so I have a feeling I'm just gonna look absolutely ridiculous in on the saving side it's skinny fit um, and it might look nice over my shoulder. Um, we'll see. I'll show you it on. But yeah, um, I think this was literally, I think, something stupid like... Okay, so it was 69 99 it had a £49.19p and discount. So that tells you how much it was. I also saw these jeans and thought I'd give them a go because I wanted like an e-crew pair of full length jeans. Um, however, I'm a bit terrified of buying jeans at the moment. I've put on weight, I'm not comfortable with how I look particularly. So I'm doing my best to 
not by jeans while I feel like this because I'm not losing weight quickly and it's not going anywhere fast. So I'm just trying not to disappoint myself by trying jeans on, if that makes sense. However, they only had these in stock in a 10, and the waist looks a little bit big for me, but I'm gonna say that and I'm sure they'll fit. So I picked these up, I think they were 29.99, they're like a fairly sort of wide, but not wide, like straight boyfriend cut. Yeah, these aren't gonna be too big, these might fit. Um, but yeah, my problem is basically that they all cling around my thighs, and that's not what I wanted from jeans. I just like a really straight leg, and it's hard to get them to fit around my waist and calves, but not be tight on my thighs. So we'll see how they go. They might look good belted or they might bunch put the crutch. So we shall see with them. This is a so far beige only haul. A pair of trousers this time. I've had these in my like watch list on H&M for so long. They are more gray than I thought they would be. I don't know if they're gonna show up on camera, but they're kind of, they sort of match our wall. Um, yeah, they are, I don't know what they, I think they're called like mole, the color. So they're like a beigey gray, tapered, like fairly straight leg smart trouser. Um, I got these in an 8 because that's usually the size I wear in H&M. They've got like pleats at the top. I think these were 39.99 so not particularly cheap but as you will know if you follow me on Instagram I basically live in smart trousers so pretty much just like smart trousers and a t-shirt is like my go-to and then in the winter like, I would throw on maybe like a black knit. The only thing I'm thinking is these might be a bit limiting colour wise. In the winter I tend to wear either black trousers, navy trousers or sometimes like a camely colour based on the fact that the black and the navy go so well with pretty much every colour knit. Whereas these, I think maybe a dark grey would look quite cool, sort of tonal, and maybe, well definitely black, but no other colour like a beige with this wouldn't sit right. Finally, and the whole reason I did this haul was essentially because I saw two coats that could potentially be my the winter coat. Um, so I thought I would get those. I believe they were both £99, so not cheap, um, but I decided this year that £100 for a winter coat that I live in. I hate being cold, who does love being cold, but I uh, hate being cold and I pretty much, as I said, have just such a standard uniform of jeans or cigarette trousers, a chunky knit and a long line sort of tailored wool coat. So I'm quite happy this year to spend £100 on one that fingers crossed will last. Um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I've had the same kind of coats knocking about for years. I've got a grey one from ASOS, which if these guys, one of them is okay, I think that grey one's got to go. I have sewn it back together four times. I bought it in 2014, so it's five years old. I think I got it in the sale for £50, and cost per wear is probably about 3p now. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I got a black straight wool blend coat with a popper fastening. They're double breasted, which I love. Um, I got this in a small, this one is pure wool, so for £100 if this fits, that's amazing. Um, just, you know, like your standard collar. It's almost like a boucle, the actual fabric, but we shall see with it on. If this fits, it's gonna be such a dream because my last long line black wool coat, I didn't love. It was slightly A-line, which kind of put me off. And although I bought it and decided to keep it and did wear it for about a year, I always knew when I went to reach for it that it wasn't the coat I wanted to wear every day. So if this fits and this is straight and whatever, we, we could be into a, onto a winner here. A second coat, and I'm very, very unlikely to keep both of these because A, I can't justify spending £200 on coats. And also, um, it seems like I wouldn't need to. But then again, they are very different colours. This one is similar. Again, it is double breasted. Um, this one is not pure wool. This is a wool blend. I got this in a size six because for some reason coats seem to come up gigantically oversized. This is buttons rather than poppers, which I do think sometimes can make a difference in terms of quality because buttons tend to stay done up. Poppers can often fall off and uh, I don't really want to be restitching a coat that I've bought. But yeah, fully lined. Uh, this one obviously, as you can see, is more of like an oatmeal -y colour. I don't know if you can see on the back of my door, there is a long camel coat, which again, if you follow me on Instagram, I did show you in my stories. That one is from ASOS. I will leave it linked in the description box if you want to have a look but it's a little bit big on me and I can't decide if it's like cool big or just too big. So go and have a look at it online if you want. But anyway, yeah, it's gonna be this or this. I can't obviously have two, well, essentially three long wool coats. But yeah, so this is the other one. Um, this has more of a pocket detail, I think. Where are the pockets? Yeah, which I love this actually. It makes it look a lot more expensive. I think Alexander Wang did some pockets like this a couple of years ago. Um, yes. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna try it all on for you now against this white wall and I will show you it. So let me know what you think. I will chat through it as we go. Okay, so these are the gray trousers. Sorry, I can't find a better way to show you. Um, I don't know if I love them. They definitely could have done with an iron or a steam, but they're pretty, um, I don't know, they're quite like 
I don't know. What do we think? Um, yeah, I don't know. They, they are flattering, I suppose. But I think when I walk, they're going to be a little bit like bunchy. Yeah, obviously this is just them with a black t-shirt, which is probably pretty much how I'd wear them. But I'm not 100%. I don't think they feel £40 worth either. What do we reckon? Okay, so at first glance, this blazer does look ridiculous. However, I think if I roll up the sleeves, it might be passable. The only thing is, it's lined in a horrible striped fabric. But beggars can't be choosers and I think for the best part of £20 uh, I don't think it's going to get much better really I think it's going to be easier to show you in the mirror um, I think I might keep this it's definitely super lightweight and obviously it's too big for me I wasn't expecting it to fit it is men's and it is like a large man to be fair but the colour's pretty good I mean it's huge on the shoulders but it kind of gives that like vintage blazer vibe. Let me get my hair out of the way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hate it. I feel like there's worse. It's good just to throw on and I love how long it is on me. Um, yeah, I'll show you the jeans a little bit closer as well. So these are the jeans. Sorry, my makeup's on the floor down there. I don't know if they're a little bit crutchy, but then a size down would be too small and they were out of stock. But other than the crutch, they're quite a nice fit. So I guess for photos, I'd just have to stand quite wide-legged. But what do we reckon? Okay, this was jumper two. Um, I've left my hair tucked in. I quite like tucking my hair sometimes. I don't think I love this. Um, I don't by any means dislike it. I just don't think I love it. And I think I need to love it. It feels like it's on backwards. It's not, is it? No. It's really like pulling across here. I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, I don't love it. Don't hate it, and probably would wear it a good few times, but I don't love it. Okay, so this was the first jumper I showed you. Again, haven't gone wild for it as soon as I've put it on. Thought I might be like, ah, oh. but um, it's definitely better. I don't know. Maybe neither of these were for me. I tend to get all my knitwear from And Other Stories, which is obviously the same company. Also, I don't know why my bronzer looks so strong in this mirror, but um. Yeah, maybe I should stick to what I know. I don't know, maybe I do like this one. Okay, the black coat is on. I've left the knit on underneath to see, um, obviously, if it fits with knitwear. It's pretty big, even though this is a size small. I can't remember if an extra small was out of stock or I just thought it wouldn't fit. I like the vibe. I feel like you're not getting the most of it on camera. But it is quite big and there's literally no detail on it. I don't know if I like that or I don't. I'm way more inclined to like have a hand in my pocket, I think. I don't know, what do we think? Don't know, I really thought I'd love it more than this. But it is good because it is just so plain. Okay, and finally the beige coat. Now, I think I prefer the neckline on this one. It's much deeper than the black one. But I don't know if I'd actually wear the colour. And also, this one's way more fitted and way more structured. I can't get the jumper on underneath this, so I would have to size up anyway. Um, but I don't actually know if I like the shoulders being quite so on my shoulder. I think I would prefer a slightly more oversized fit. This is quite smart, I think, and I'm not a very smart person. <laughs> I don't know. Has this one got a vent? See, this one does have a vent, so obviously once that's unplugged as well, it looks a lot nicer. This one does look cheaper on, and it wasn't. It was the same price, I'm pretty sure. I don't love this one. I think this one's quite like city worker, and that's not me. See, I do like that black one, but I do think it's too big. So I might go online and see if they've got it in an extra small, and if they do, I might order that. I have a feeling they didn't. So they were the pieces I picked up from H&M. I'm going to decide what I'm going to keep. Let me know your thoughts, because I'm going to try and get this video up ASAP, so you can give me your input. I think it was a good collection of things, I just don't know. I think I'm in that mindset of A, don't keep things you don't need, B, don't overshop, and C, I want to save some money. So yeah, also we've just booked to go to Bali, so it seems so obtuse spending so much money on autumn winter stuff, but obviously we have horrible winters here. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, and that's it. I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye guys.